Good morning, folks. I have uh, something that's super important, which uh, I thought I should share today. And it was like the, like a validation of textbook uh, guidelines. So uh, I had flushed my uh, Ford coolant many times and I was seeing a voltage of approximately 400 millivolts and that's 0.4 volts. And if you look at the textbooks, it says anything over 0.3 is bad news. And uh, either the coolant is bad or the coolant is being used as a grounding point for something else. And uh, turned out that uh, I flushed the coolant many times over and over again. And I even followed the uh, coolant flush procedure from Ford Tech Make You Loco and, uh, this morning. And it, it actually went up. It went up to half a volt and uh turned out it was the easiest thing ever i wish i, I actually thought about that but i didn't do it but after dumping of uh, approximately 50 dollars of coolant turns out this grounding point here presumably for the engine is uh what caused the problem because this was basically oxidized and what was happening is the coolant was used as a ground um basically they threw the engine block and uh, I measured the voltage from here to the multimeter and it was uh, pretty low actually. And then when I measured the nut, I wasn't getting any voltage at all. So I knew that the nut was not touching the uh, grounding point. And lo and behold, after I got it all out and cleaned it up, look at what the voltage is down, 160 millivolt, where it needed to be. And uh, anyways, so uh, this is why the grounding points have to be made sure that they're okay. and. Uh, Make sure that the grounding point, the, the battery negative, is showing a low voltage, see? If I put it up there, see that's perfectly grounded. That wasn't the case um, sometime back. The nut was not showing a voltage. So, super important to keep the electrolysis down. Thank you guys.